We're calling for peace in God's land. Israel, stop the airstrikes. Hold back your military force. Call back your 6,000 people ready to do an incursion into the Gaza Strip. Bush, call upon your administration to intervene and to bring about a peaceful solution. President-elect Obama, make sure that your administration is one that is geared toward bringing about peace and not simply political convenience. We know that that's where your heart is. Move by your heart and not by the political experience of what makes our nation what it is. Let Gaza live! 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 Peace in Gaza! Peace in Gaza! Peace in Gaza! Peace on earth! Peace on earth! Good will to what all of you. Thank you, Reverend Stovall. Okay, we'd like to ask another one of our friends and partners, uh, Lynn Ellis, uh, the chairman of the board from the Dallas Peace Center. They've been long-standing partners with our community, and they've always stood on the side of peace. We'd like Lynn to come up and make a statement. Yeah. Right, Thank you. The Dallas Peace Center today joined with the UN Security Council, peace and faith organizations, and individuals worldwide in calling for an immediate halt to hostilities between Israeli and Hamas militants in Gaza, resulting in the destruction of communities, destruction of livelihoods, and the death and injury of innocent men, women, and children. We emphasize a halt to this death and destruction by all. The Dallas Peace Organization is also calling upon the UN, both the outgoing and incoming U.S. presidential administrations and other potential mediators to immediately step forward and engage the leadership of both sides in conflict, in identifying and taking actionable steps towards a satisfying, peaceful resolution to a divisive wound that has agonized humanity far too long. The mission of the Dallas Peace Center is based on a vision of reconciliation to promote research, education, dialogue, and action for peace with justice. Our board, membership, and staff encourage and support the use of nonviolent methods aimed toward the establishment of a genuine and sustainable worldwide culture of peace, believing that the punitive use of force Bombs and bullets will never achieve such a goal. Ladies and gentlemen, please, we, each and every one of us, must be at peace with ourselves to bring peace to the world. Peace begins with each and every one of us. Take a pledge. Peace begins with me. 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 Thank you. Free, free Palestine. Free, free Palestine. We also like to bring forth our brother Tunde Obaze with uh, AM 1360, one of our best friends uh, and a constant. Uh, visitor to our community and having us on the show. So Brother Tumni. Thank you Brother Mustafa. Salaam Alaikum. Alaikum Salaam. Uh, as I said earlier, no, I'm not a visitor to the community. I am a part of the community. I am, if they say the issue is against the Palestinian, then I am a Palestinian. I said I come on behalf of my African brothers because we have suffered the same thing. So I feel your pain. I can understand what you're going through. But this is not your struggle, it's our struggle. Injustice anywhere is injustice everywhere. The crime that is taking place in Gaza 
is taking place against our mankind. It's a, it's a humanitarian crime. For anybody to think it's okay, I think there's something wrong with that mindset. For anybody to think that to kill, to avoid killing, that is okay, there's something wrong with that mindset. Today, I want to share, I want to ask my fellow Americans what they're doing or what they are finding out where the taxpaying dollars are going. Is going to buy Apache helicopters, buy, buying guns and bombs to kill children. That's not the American ideal. I think we all need to stand up. I think those of us that can text need to text to pressure our representatives. They are not our leaders. They are representative of our cause, and our cause is peace in the Gaza Strip, justice for all. I said earlier, it's written that everyone is crying out for peace, but no one is crying out for justice. The Palestinian people need equal rights and justice. The African people need equal rights and justice, just like the American people need equal rights and justice. Mandela once said, Mandela once said, what you are not willing to, or what you are willing to accord to yourself, you must be willing to accord to others. If Israel wants peace for its children and family, you must be willing to share it with the Palestinian people. It is in their land, they have nowhere going, they didn't cross the border, if anything, the border is crossing them. The days of violence, I'm using this opportunity to also call on the United States and Israel to join the civilized world that does not use violence but use dialogue in negotiation. Yeah. So thank you very much. We bring in our brother Nabil Sardoun with the Islamic Association of North Texas uh, to close out this press conference. So without further ado, Brother Nabil. Before the closing, let's frame the issue correctly because people in the media, people in politics, they know the art of framing. The frame of the issue is the occupation, the humiliation and the crushing and the destruction of the Palestinian people. That is the fact of the matter. We should not be deviated from the issue. People being in Palestine, occupied, humiliated, killed, tortured, torn apart since 1948. And then in 1967 in Gaza, They've been under occupation for that long. You know what occupation is? Is to be put in prison, to be deprived of your freedom while you are the native of the land. That is the real issue and it must stop and Israel must depart Palestine and depart the occupied territories. Now they say something about the rockets. Let me give you some numbers. In 2005, how many people got killed? Let me start with 2008. They talk about the rockets. In last eight years, only 20 Israelis got killed because of the rockets. You know how many people got killed just this year? It's 800 Palestinians. 20 in eight years. 800 in one year. They talk about the rockets. They talk about suicide bombing. We talk about the principle of occupation. Do not be deceived. Do not be departing the issue. Stand for your rights and for the Palestinians' rights and let the occupation leave. Let the occupation leave. Leaders lie while people die. Leaders lie 
while people die. You remember, you know what happened in Gaza? Now, more than 300 people got killed. Among 